Hello everybody, it's Tom and Jerry Fan64 here, and sorry if this this video it, sorry if this video is overdue. It's now time to do part two of my entire Blu-ray collection, early 2022 edition. So where we last left off in part one, which we showed Moana, so let's continue. And I decided I'm not gonna show my face on camera for this Blu-ray collection. These next these first three Blu-rays I'm gonna show are MCU titles. This one did not come with the DVD. I do have to get the DVD of this movie so I can put this in a combo pack. I do hope to get Guardians of the Galaxy, the, the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie on DVD or Blu-ray. I can't wait for the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. This is a disc. It did have the DVD, but I gave it to my sister. <coughs> <coughs> This Blu-ray I got for my 17th birthday of 2018. I I'm 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 kind of I I'm kind of debating if I'm gonna watch Black Panther and Wakanda Forever. I'm probably gonna see Black Panther Wakanda Forever, but I'm not really all that excited for the sequel. See, this was a lot of people consider this movie overrated. I loved it. R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman. These next two are DreamWorks animated movies. I did used to have the first Madagascar movie on Blu-ray, but I got rid of it for no reason. In this Blu-ray of Madagascar 2: Escape to Africa, I got for a one dollar at the Dollar Tree. This Blu-ray I got for five bucks at Media Mogul. I do hope to get the Crudes a New Age on Blu-ray sometime. This one I replaced the case too because the original case was in bad shape. Here's the Blu-ray and here's the DVD and digital copy. This is the only DreamWorks animated movie I have that is distributed by 20th Century Fox. I used to have Mr. Peabody and Sherman, but I got rid of it for no reason. And ignore the noise in the background, that was just my watch. These next two are X-Men movies. This is the sequel to X-Men Origins Wolverine, which I don't know if I'm going to get or not. I used to have X-Men Origins Wolverine, but I got rid of it because the disc was scratched. Here's the Blu-ray and the DVD and digital copy. I also got X-Men Days of Future Past. I do also have X-Men 3 The Last Stand on DVD. I used to have X-Men Apocalypse on Blu-ray, but I I donated it. This is the this one has Jennifer Lawrence on the slipcover, which is pretty cool. My hand is getting a bit tired, but not too bad. Let me put the camera down so I can get the Blu-ray case out. There we go. This is a 2016 reprint Blu-ray release, but it still has the original 2014 Blu-ray inside. Here's a really great movie right here. It includes both colorized and black and white versions. 1946 film. I used to have the Republic Pictures VHS of this one, but I got rid of it for no reason. Here's disc one with the colorized version, and disc two with the black and white version special features. Just like my Blu-ray of Madagascar 2 Escape to Africa. Unfortunately, both Blu-ray discs have boring gray discs, but oh well. It is their choice, but it's kind of lame. This next one's a Wellgo USA Entertainment Blu-ray. I do have a Wellgo USA Entertainment DVD, which is Freaks. I do have to get the other Ant-Man movie sometime. I do have to get the first one, the Ant-Man 3 and Ant-Man 4, the finale. This Blu-ray I got for 5 bucks at Media Mogul. This next, this next one's a Mill Creek Entertainment Blu-ray. I got this movie because these movies because Lilith actually has Warren Beatty. Ship of Fools is a 1965 film renewed 1993, and Lilith is a 1964 film renewed 1992. This is in both our Columbia Pictures movies. I got this Blu-ray for a dollar to Dollar Tree. These next two are Echo Bridge Blu-rays. I got this because it has Steven Seagal. Here's the Blu-ray and the DVD. 
Hold on one minute. I'm going to get these Blu-rays over here out of the... Out of its case or whatever. Out of the shelf. This one did have a slipcover, but I threw away the slipcover. Here's this one. Here's the Blu-ray and the DVD. Excuse me. This one, I know there's a double chocolate deluxe or whatever it is. Whatever the hell it is. There's a Diamond Lux edition, excuse me, of this movie. But I, I'm fine with the Blu-ray. Here's the Blu-ray and the DVD. Excuse my language. This one, I used to have the DVD, but I decided to stick with the Blu-ray. This contains both the theatrical and unrated versions. This next one's a Target exclusive Blu-ray release. Here's the Blu-ray and the, this one of the film on Blu-ray and this year the special features Blu-ray. I did have the DVD, but I gave it to my sister. This one I believe I used to have on DVD, but I upgraded it to Blu-ray. This Blu-ray I got for $5.99 at at um, Fred Myers. Here's the Blu-ray and the DVD. Let me get this back in the case. I used to have the solo DVD release of this that had a boring greatest, but I upgraded it to Blu-ray. This one I got for a dollar to Dollar Tree. This one has Mershad Ali, which is why I got it. This is a Focus World movie course by Animal Kingdom. I have a, a few movies that are released by Focus Features, but not by Focus World. This Blu-ray I got for 5 bucks with a slipcover at Target. This is a really underrated Liam Neeson movie. It's not as good as Taken, but it's still a great movie. Here's the Blu-ray and the DVD. This is a Universal movie co produced by Silver Pictures and Studio Canal. I believe, yes. I'm going to show one, two, three, four, five, six more Blu-rays for this part, and then we'll stop and do part three. This Blu-ray I got for Christmas of 2019. And I also got Jumanji The Next Level. Here's the actual Blu-ray case. Here's the disc. It did have the DVD, but I gave it to my sister. This is the first Spider-Man movie in the MCU Spider-Man movie ever made. I do hope to get Spider-Man No Way Home on Blu-ray, and I do hope to get Spider-Man No Way No No Way Home and Far From Home on Blu-ray. I hope to get No Way Home when it comes out on Blu-ray. I'm still looking for Far From Home on Blu-ray. This is the 20th anniversary edition Blu-ray release. It includes both the theatrical and the extended cuts of the film. I do have the widescreen VHS of this one. That's in a cup. That's in a small clamshell. I almost said cup box by accident. Here's disc one with the film on Blu-ray and disc two with the bonus features. I used to have Independence Day Resurgence, but I got rid of that movie because that movie sucked. I will do a review of this movie sometime. But I'm gonna I'll fix that later. This one I recently rewatched and it's a great movie. This is an MGM movie, but it's released on Blu-ray by Warner Brothers. And here's the last Blu-ray I'm gonna show for this part. This one I used to have the vertical ink label copy of this movie that had no previews, but I got rid of it for no reason. Here's the Blu-ray and a DVD. So that is it for part two of my entire Blu-ray collection, early 2022 edition. In which I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my in the next part, which will be part three. So I'll see you guys.